Classic cars worth thousands of dollars now in need of thousands in repairs after a really bizarre business break in. New Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs talked with the owner who is not holding any grudges. I just thought who could do something like this? this I mean, nobody just intentionally do something like this unless you're just out of your mind. Doug Anderson can't believe his eyes. Boom, through the windshield, boom. I never understood why he drove the truck into the building and then, but then he ended up stealing this car. This car was taken. It was close to 3.30 in the morning when the alarm at Doug's auto sales in Pleasant View alerted the police. They called me and said that uh, I had a truck that had the hazards light flashing on it. Said it looked like somebody had tried to break into it. Security cameras inside showing a man ramming a truck through the glass window. He hops out and finds the keys to the classic cars in the showroom. A uh, Guthrie water truck was sitting in the showroom and had been run up into the my 73 Cuda and it crammed it into the wall. And then I got a 68 Camaro convertible and it had knocked the front end off of it, knocked it around. And the whole floor, everywhere in the showroom was glass. The suspect is Nathan Ryan Wasson. Surveillance capturing him getting the car outside, according to investigators, but he comes back in this time going for the black Camaro and takes off. It looked like a horror scene. I mean, all the windows was knocked out of this side. All the windows was knocked out of the other side. My two beautiful cars, which I like, I love. This one wasn't here and that one was sitting outside the front. Anderson says cops were not too far behind the man because the alarm system already sent them to the scene. But when speeds got too fast, cops backed off. Watson made it to Robertson County where he crashed a car. Anderson says he tried to break into a home, but was stopped by the homeowner and held down until police arrived. I hope he stays there for a while and maybe he can get help. I mean, I wish the best for him. I mean, I know he's tore my stuff up, but he's still a human being. In Pleasant View, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.